Now, I know you guys have seen that thumbnail and you didn't read that title and you're probably out there saying, ooh, we, right? So listen, today I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make a delicious Southern fried chicken. Let's get it. This video today is sponsored by Texas Pete. Okay, so look, let's go over some of these ingredients, right? Not a whole lot. Listen, but I promise you this is what it levels it up. If you come on in here and take a look at this right here, look, this is our buttermilk, right? And before we even get to our seasonings, look right here, we got our chicken. Now, over here we got our seasoning, right? We got onion, garlic, you know, the powders right there. We got black pepper, we got kosher salt, and this right here is my Creole seasoning, right? And of course, if we gonna do anything, folks, we gotta bring this to the party, and that's Texas Pete. Okay, so look, you see we didn't went over the, the uh, ingredients, right? So now I'm gonna take my buttermilk, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning here, right? Cause look, we want our seasoning, we want our buttermilk to be seasoned too, cause we making a marinade, right? And the Creole, ooh wee folks. Black pepper, man, that black pepper and that Creole seasoning is gonna make you sneeze. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and take, you know, just a couple of pinches of salt. Leave it like that. You want to get your whisk, right? I just want to give this and to get this going because I saw a couple of lumps, right? So as we getting this together, once I get this fully incorporated, guess what, folks? You know what it is. It's that Texas Pete time. Texas Pete is the perfect balance of bold flavors and heat. Now check this out. The Texas Pete brand has a long-standing positive relationship with the community and chefs like myself. Texas Pete is the perfect hot sauce to have on hand for any recipe to spice things up. Okay, so we mixed up, right? We got our hot sauce in here. Now, in the bowl that we have our chicken in, now we just go ahead, come on in here and get this eye candy. Look, we just wanna go ahead and pour this right here on like this. You see that right there, folks? This is what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and get me a, you know, a glove, mix this up, make sure you know, everything is coated completely, even though you see it submerged, but they still make a contact, right? Then I'm gonna put some saran wrap, I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator, and we're gonna go for about four to six hours. Okay, so look, now I'm getting ready to add my ingredients, right? This is my flour. You wanna go ahead and season it properly, and then you know what? It might sound strange to you if you've never been following me for, before. Listen, you got to taste your flour. And then for our salt, we just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit in here like this, All right? Now we get our whisk and we whisk it together. Okay, so look, you can look right here and you can see that that's seasoned. I just tasted it and I love what I'm tasting. If you guys wanna know what your secret is to having good, you know, good tasting fried chicken, hmm, that's it, season your flour. Look, it's been marinating just nicely, tenderizing that chicken. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this hand here, I'm gonna shake off as much as I can, right? And then we're just gonna add it over here to our seasoned flour. I'm gonna do this with a few more pieces. And that'll be enough right now, right? Now, I'm gonna get in here with this hand now. This is gonna be my wet, dry hand. Everything gonna be right here, look. We already got it on there. You just want to push it in just like this. It's okay. Don't worry. You know? Then I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing. I take it and then I squeeze it because I want to get it everywhere. Shake off the excess. Then you want to bring it over here. Get yourself a baking dish and just put it down. Shake off the excess. And then stage it. Now the reason I kept another hand that was dry, that's just in case I need to do anything, grab something, open something up, you know, like that. I gotta have a clean hand, right? So, shake. Look, the more you can shake off the donut here, the cleaner your grease, you know, or your oil will be. I got my oil, I just checked this just a second ago. We had 380 degrees, right? Why? Because this is gonna go ahead and reduce it also. And if you guys take a look right here, I just wanna show, maybe I can show the depth. I only went in about that far. You know what I mean? Because look, when you put something in there, the chicken in there is gonna rise up a little bit, right? So here we go. Go ahead and take it, and I'll just put it down right here so you guys can see it. Boom.
I want you guys to notice that why, okay, I put all the drumsticks in, right? Cause look, they all the same size, so they'll be cooked just about the same time, right? When it come to getting to the thighs, they bigger, you know what I mean? I don't want to just like be moving pieces like that. I do my, these first, the drums, then we come and do the thighs. Okay, so look, you can see, look, I done broke out the greens. You know why? I'm gonna show you why in just one second. I'm gonna go ahead and do my plating. You know what? Before I pick this up, I'm gonna just say this. Let's cue that music. Okay, look, you guys can see everything's all plated up. You know what I mean? Uh, of course, we got that. That, that crispy fried chicken. And guess what, folks? We brought greens to the party, too. And just because it's the holidays, you know we got mashed potatoes. You know what I mean? I got some gravy behind me. And what would we do if we didn't have no cornbread muffin, folks? Hey, so guess what? Now I'm getting ready to use this Texas Pete original hot sauce. Check this out. For those of y'all out there, you're always talking about it. Here we go. You got to put some hot sauce on your chicken and your greens. All you guys got to do is go down, look down in the description box below, click that link to get your own Texas Pete original hot sauce. Oh, my goodness. Check it out, folks. Cheers. Oh, mm. Now, this fire. It ought to be a log this Ah. <laughs> hey, game changer, folks. If you looking to level up, this Texas Pete original hot sauce is it right there. I done already brought you to the party. Look, Texas Pete original hot sauce then finished it off, you know, and took it from there. And with that being said, this is the way to go. And you guys let me know what you think about down in the comment section below, right? Let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Oh, peace.